From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, as you know, there is a segment called Turtle Bay Wonderful World of Animals right here on Weather NorCal. All you have to do is go to the Weather NorCal website, weathernorcal.com, click on the Animal Family segment, and then Turtle Bay Wonderful World of Animals. And you can watch any of the episodes. You can kind of binge watch. You can just watch one after another. You can also access the same content from the free Weather NorCal app. Let's talk about the headlines here, and it's gonna be a warming trend. It peaks today and it peaks tomorrow. Now the fire danger as a result, especially the valley, but even some of the higher elevations, will see a slightly increasing fire danger. But it's not as hot as we go into the second half of the weekend and early next week, but still hot depending on where you are. Now it's also looking cooler across the board, minus of course the coast. You're just not seeing much of that trend here. But everyone else, seeing some cooler weather by the end of next week. And your neighborhood forecast at a glance for today, it's still hot, 107 degrees in the valley. Although the south end of the valley may be closer to the lower 100s, but I do expect upper 50s. That fog along parts of the coast is gonna take a while to burn off in some areas. But I do expect eventually this afternoon for even the coast to see some of that clearing as well. Heading out to the Shasta District Fair today, well, it's gonna be hot. Make sure you stay hydrated. The peak of the heat will be around four or five o'clock this afternoon, but then the temperature should start to drop here as we go into the evening hours. And if you're heading out any time this weekend, well, on Saturday, 106 degrees, but on Sunday, we do see that slight dip in the temperatures, but bottom line, you need to stay cool and stay hydrated. The smoke isn't gonna be too much of an issue. I do expect to maybe see some haze in some areas here. We do have the upper Applegate fire here, which is in Southern Oregon. It could produce some smoke later this afternoon and evening for Wairika. That will dissipate as it heads southward into Mount Shasta and even close to the Redding area, but it could produce maybe a little bit more of that haze out there. But bottom line, we don't expect a lot of smoke out there and we don't expect that air quality to really drop as a result. Now the winds are picking up this afternoon, especially for the west side of the valley here, generally coming in from the south, although extreme north end of the valley coming in from the northwest. Still that north wind along the coast here. We take you into your Saturday, we're seeing that kind of rush of a southerly flow of winds coming in on Saturday for the valley and gusty, 20, close to 25 and 30 miles an hour, north winds for the coast and that westerly wind, winds coming in from the west moving eastward for the eastern mountains. On Sunday, we're also still seeing that southerly flow of winds, maybe not as strong, the strongest winds will be on the east side or east of I-5 here, not as strong to the west of I-5. So that's probably where we will see higher fire danger. Look at that, gusty winds too along the coast. So the fire weather risk for today, this is where we're seeing the highest fire uh, risk here. You're seeing the deeper oranges and you can see not as bad, but still some high fire danger down to the south as well. We're beginning to see this increase. We're seeing more yellows on the map there for some of the higher elevations. For Saturday, even higher fire danger in the valley. But look at this, especially in Modoc, Lassen County, even Eastern Shasta County, getting some oranges on the map there as well, getting in the moderate to high range, moderate range here for Shasta Valley in central Siskiyou County. Now on Sunday, remember I was mentioning those stronger winds coming in from the south, uh, so stronger or higher fire danger there, not as bad to the west, but still high fire danger nonetheless. And we're still seeing that moderate to high fire danger off to the east in the mountains. So we're getting more and more of those days where the fire season is pretty much here and we just need to do everything we can to help prevent those fires from starting. So you can see some clouds that uh, did kind of push through this morning. Those will be kind of pushing on out of here later this afternoon, especially in Northern California. But the main bubble of heat that I'm watching is over well off to our east. That's expanding, it's building and getting stronger over the weekend for the desert Southwest. That is going to be the increase in the temperatures we're seeing today and tomorrow but this cooler air here will prevent that heat from building in as strong as it would like to. So as a result, our temperatures actually may drop slightly as we go into your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday of next week, as you can see this cooler air keeps that heat from really building in. This is a persistent ridge of high pressure. It's fairly strong and it's gonna keep those temperatures very hot in the desert Southwest, keep our temperatures warm at least through Wednesday. But again, these two are kind of battling it out 
and for the most part we're kind of stuck in between but then as we go into thursday friday not only is that cooler air riding to our north but we're seeing that heat retreat back down to the south and we'll see an even bigger drop in our temperatures by the end of next week certainly a welcome sight but we still have that heat advisory for tomorrow that is going to include pretty much all of the valley through the day on Saturday. Now, the fog is really the main thing that we're watching here for the coast. Later this afternoon, we'll probably see a lot of that fog burning off and then going into Saturday morning, especially for Humboldt Bay, southward into the, some of those inland valleys, seeing some fog to start off the day on Saturday quickly dissipates here but there's another push of marine air that's going to be pushing eastward that's going to give us some pretty dense fog in some areas here for sunday morning even working way its way down the 101 corridor down towards garberville for example uh, but there you can see that fog really persistent now as we go into sunday afternoon it should burn off we're kind of that time of the year where yeah you may see that overnight and early morning fog along the coast but with the angle of the sun so high it makes it easier for us to kind of burn that fog off later on in the afternoon hours. But we still maybe see some patchy fog here, even for Sunday afternoon. Meanwhile, the rest of us are looking at mainly sunny skies. There could be some afternoon cumulus clouds for many of the higher elevations, but no rain, no thunderstorms in the forecast. Here's what it looks like for today. Temperatures, yeah, 107 degrees for Reading, but more of that south delta breeze, keeping temperatures a little bit cooler down to the south. And there you can see out towards 8 and a high of 90, 92 degrees for Alturas and those temperatures upper 50s out along the coast. Looking at your seven day outlook, starting off with the valley, it peaks today and tomorrow, and then temperatures start to drop. We'll level off around 100 degrees here, upper 90s here for Sunday through Wednesday. And then there you can see that bigger dip in the temperatures here by Thursday. And then of course that'll extend on into next Friday as well. For the coast, inland and Trinity County, peaking today, of course, not so much for the coast. In fact, it warms up by Sunday when everyone else is cooling down, but only in the low 60s here for the coast here for Sunday through next Thursday. Temperatures dropping back down into the low 80s for the inland areas by Thursday, upper 80s for Trinity County. For Siskiyou County, Modoc County, and for the Eastern Mountains, there's that dip in the temperatures here, maybe still staying around 90 degrees for that daytime high for Susanville, but you get the idea. Temperatures peaking today and tomorrow for most of us with that dip in the temperatures for the end of the weekend and early next week. Everywhere I go, I'm riding with pride. I'm riding on my go go. Watch me glide. Everywhere I go, go. I'm getting around. I'm riding on my go go. All over town. I'm riding in style and feeling so right. It's easy to take and it's all so light. Everywhere I go, go. I'm riding on my go go. Everything medical, your mobility experts.